Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Sorry for there being no part yesterday. I just couldn't concentrate whatsoever. I was like, uh, um, uh, the whole time and yeah. So I just decided to skip on the part to keep the quality up. Anyway, let's go back to the Forest of Hope and start breeding a bunch of Pikmin. And hopefully I'll be able to get three to four ship parts this part. Notice that 20 pellet off to the side there, I'll be getting that a little bit later on for sure because it's going to help my yellows. Speaking of, get them all out! All the ones you have! And just start throwing over to the flower, let them take that back to the onion. And pull out the reds! And we're going to be plucking some grass right away here as well because of the fact that I would like to get as many of these critters flowered as I possibly can. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah! Flower, flower, flower! Turn leaves to flower! Arr! That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> that was great. That's a part of the random factor in Pikmin games, is that you don't know... Where'd the other two go? Oh, they're still here. Is that you don't know what random events are going to occur along the way. So it's a matter of... Oh, don't attack that! Oh, fine, whatever. I want these pellets for the yellows. Let's take that. But anyway, as I said, as I was saying, the uh, random events, you just don't know what's going to happen in the game, and that's what keeps this game pretty interesting. In fact, some of the speedruns I've seen, uh, like speedrun guides of this game that I've seen, rely on having good luck in order for you to get this the quickest time possible, so yeah. So that was a pretty good initial burst of nectar that I had there. Anyway, I'm throwing the Pikmin up there because I'm going to do a little sequence break. Normally you would, you would have to take blues through there, but you'll see that there's a ship part up here. It's the Shock Absorber! This apparatus con counteracts the shaking and swaying that normally occurs during flight. It's smooth sailing with this in place. Usually. <laughs> Um, now, what you want to do with your team is get them all together, well, well, you know, call them, and because it's hard to really get past this bull war without them attacking, I'm just gonna, yeah, <laughs> attack, 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 yeah, baby. Now I'm gonna separate the colors again, and grab most of the yellow, because if you get, the... one just tripped there, dang it, uh, the the Pikmin will take them back to the color of onion that is that has the most Pikmin on whatever is carrying it back. Come on now. Now carry this back. So since I want to breed the yellows up, I'm putting mostly yellows on that. It's pretty simple really. Um, whenever you see flowers like this, well, these pellet posies that are like that, they're growing back, so try not to knock them around too much because yeah, you'll have to um You'll have to wait for them to regrow again. Anyway, I'm going to put a couple of these back in there so I can pull out. All right, I gotta wait for them to go back in the onion. Come on, guys, because they're not technically off the field until they go back to the onion. I just want to get more yellows out. I want to have uh, at least 20 yellow out on the field. And they're going to sprout a bunch of yellows there that I'm gonna have to pluck because I don't kind of made a mistake there, but whatever. As I said, I'm not going for a speedrun or anything like that. I have plenty of time to get all, all 30 parts, now that I understand the uh, real-time strategy game genre more. In fact, I just recently learned how to play this genre a lot better in recent days. I was never good at this genre, so this walkthrough, I guess you could say, is proof that I have... Um, improve myself as a gamer, so to speak. And... Like, I'm trying to get as good at as many genres as I possibly can. I'm, I'm good at most genres, actually. And where are the other... I hope I didn't leave them up on that ledge. That would kind of suck. <laughs> like, way up there. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm just gonna move on here. And I'm gonna get some bomb rocks, so let's separate our crew by pressing the X button. Get the yellows, and have them swarm the bomb rocks. Get as many of them as they possibly can. And let's go. Hey, you guys too. By the way, I, I realize that it's not when you call them 
that they drop the bomb rocks. It's when you touch them that they drop the bomb rocks. If they're idle, yeah, I just thought I would clarify myself on that. Alright. Fine, you guys can do that if you want to. What I'm planning... <sighs> I got the reds with it. Dang it! <laughs> I hate when they do that. It's like when they um, attack something on their own, they automatically rejoin the team, and I guess that's fine. They're going to take it back to the yellow. Okay. Got a bunch of rocks. And get some more here. It doesn't really matter if I separate them at this point because they are just... They're there, and that's what the onion was. Um, I'm gonna, now I'm going to separate them because I don't want to waste bomb rocks. Let's get a bunch of threads. And I'm just going to swarm them to speed things up. Oh, by the way, these... These right here, they are sheer grubs. There's a female and male variety of them. The male ones are the dark purple ones, and they are the most threatening because they can kill Pikmin in one hit. Even if you start wailing on them while they have one in their mouth, yeah, it's it's pretty, uh, they're pretty devastating actually, but since you get Pikmin from them after you kill them anyway, because you got these little corpses all over the place which are going to get in the way if I don't take them back to the onion at this moment. Uh, so it just kind of balances itself out, but the fact that they really get in your way is the, the issue that they're presenting here. Right, I'm going to separate the colors. Oh, there's still a couple more there. Okay, just don't drop any bomb rocks. That would really suck. Alright, this is the Whimsical Radar, which is the thing that I wanted to get the last part. There we go. Let's get the description of this. I just want to show you guys. It's my whimsical radar! With this, I'll be able to see all nearby ship parts in a single glance. I just press Y to check it. This find fills me with great hope. Alright, now, some of them are gonna jump onto it, that's fine, I don't really care about that. Just as long as no bomb rocks explode. Because bomb rocks, they are capable of killing Pikmin, so... They are not to be taken lightly. You gotta be careful in using these things. Um, actually, you guys take that back. Take this back. I'm just... Trying to clear the way here so I don't have to worry about the stragglers making the other Pikmin not work in my favor here. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to start taking down this really annoying black wall. Throw three Pikmin at it at a time. Okay, keep going. That is the Extraordinary Bolt. I plan on getting that this part. As I said, the last part was about the setting up, basically. Oh, shoot, I shouldn't have did that. Ah, whatever, that works. It was, the last part, as I said, was about setting up stuff for the future. In the last part, it was about me getting a bunch of Pikmin. In this part, I'm getting a bunch of ship parts. And, oh, it's back. And, whoa. Did it? I don't think... I think something went wrong with this cutscene. What? This, I've, this never happened to me before. At least I don't think it did. What? <laughs> it's supposed to show the ship part getting attached to the ship, and then it gets it gets attached to the side of the ship. And yeah, and oh shoot, do I have? I don't have enough. Really? Are you serious? Um. Uh oh. <laughs> You know what, you guys, I'm going to have you... Oh, I can't... How do I get them to drop the bomb rocks? Well, I would like to use them somewhere, actually. Wait, actually, I know where to use them. Um, I want to go around... Wait, no, not this way. This way, here we go, this wall right here. This wall leads back to your base, and this saves you a lot of time. If you knock it down, of course. And boop! There we go. Now I have enough. And I should probably get my team back together. Okay, see the radar on the back of the ship? Yeah, I was supposed to show it attaching to the ship, so that cutscene actually glitched on me. That never, ever happened to me before. That is a first! I've, I've never even seen that happen on anyone's playthroughs. <laughs> I mean, it might have happened before to someone, but it certainly never happened to me before. 
Alright, so I'm just gonna wipe out these guys. I don't care about that. I just wanna get them out of my way. Oh shoot! No! No! Attack, 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 attack. Well that works. <laughs> I'll be able to get that bolt. Curses! I hate when they brush enemies like that and then it wakes them up, but you can't waste too much time, you know, trying to uh, get past enemies really carefully in this game, because as I said, it's all about the time. So, it, it actually hurts you more to uh, go by enemies carefully than not. Alright, this wall, this is going to take forever to knock down. It's a black wall. Well, it's more like a dark gray, but this wall is, oh, oh dear lord. <laughs> It is... Oh, you know what? I could use these guys to help take it down. You can use Bomb Rock Pikmin. I mean, uh, Bomb Rocks to knock down walls. Oops. Well, I'll leave you guys... I didn't mean to do that, but I suppose that's okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take you. And then I'm going to throw you near... Oops. Oh, shoot. Well, that totally failed, like completely. But I do have to knock that, knock down that wall. Extraordinary bolt. This bolt's bolt holds the kind of value that only a true connoisseur can understand. In other words, it's completely worthless. <laughs> so I got three ship parts today so far. I'm hoping I'll be able to get a fourth one. And I'll be able to fly to a new area. But I totally wasted that bomb rock and dang it. Arrgh, I'm gonna get my team. <laughs> uh, that uh, pellet up there is something that I plan on getting today. But since I want to get ship parts. Yeah, it might not be such a good idea. Although, how many yellows do I have right now? 15. Uh, and the sound effect is glitching. What the heck is wrong with the game today? They, <laughs> you know how the sound is supposed to be when you throw Pikmin. And even the whistle sound effect is gone. What? <laughs> Why is the game glitching like this? This never happened before. <laughs> well, luckily the day is nearing its end, so... I guess it's no big deal, but... <laughs> I've never seen this before. This is this is so weird. I'm gonna have to reset the game um, after this day is over, you know, to get all the sound effects back. But I'm I'm keeping this recording because this is interesting. <laughs> I mean, all we, all we've got is the music. Uh, his punch sound effect doesn't work. Yeah, you can punch with Olimar by, by pressing the A button, and you can do scratch damage to enemies that way. It's not all that useful. But wow, I. The game never glitched like this before, I don't get it. <laughs> it's it's astounding. Uh, yeah, not even the, the sound effects of these Pikmin are going. And the, they took down the wall. I just heard them... I mean, I heard that sound effect. I don't... What the heck is going on? Never before have I seen... <laughs> I'm just completely and utterly baffled. Let me attack that. Attack this! That's the other ship part that I would like to get today. Dang it! Attack the baby! <laughs> Before it eats that. Ah, oh, whatever. And this is... The Nova Blaster! This emits a dazzling burst of light capable of destroying almost anything. I'm not exactly sure about this, but the promotional brochure claims that a blast can travel in the currents of space-time, smashing through stars and into the rifts of space. A lot of people like to say that he could have used this to prevent um, the ship from being struck by the meteors, but I'm not sure about that because that's it's kind of... It would be hard to shoot a meteor shower. By the way, this is an iridescent flint beetle. If you flip it over, it has treasures, but you can't actually kill it. It's irresistible to Pikmin in that they just keep attacking it like crazy. <laughs> oh, and there's this little hole here that you can take Pikmin through. It's not really all that useful, though, actually. It, uh, like, you can't take uh, ship parts through it and whatnot. Oh, and I should also show you the uh, map here. Oh, there are Pikmin up there, and there's a Pikmin over there, too. So I did leave two up on that ledge over there. 
I'm gonna have to get them by the uh, end of the day here, so I'm gonna leave my team there. And I am going to go up there. Oh, that's a honey wisp. It contains a little droplet of nectar that you can use to power up your Pikmin into flowers. And Nova Blaster! This is a weapon of such incredible destructive force that it can blast stars into tiny pieces. It has a strange allure. <laughs> I have now recovered 6 out of 30 ship parts. If I can just find just 6 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. And then we'll unlock the second to last area in the game. No, let me up there. I need to get to my Pikmin buddies. And yeah, how did I leave you two behind anyway? So, and then you drop down here. I didn't want to go on here earlier because it's a dead end, as you could tell by all those walls. There's some more bomb rocks if you need them over here. There is that Pikmin. Since it's coming to the end of the day, I'm trying to get all the uh, forces together so I don't lose anything. Um, as I said before, any Pikmin at base, which is right there in the center of the screen, will be safe. And you can see any Pikmin on the radar, as, and they show up as little glowing dots. You guys should be able to get that back to the base in time. It's not that far. Uh, that's pretty much it. Well, I'd like to make, make do with all the time I possibly have here. So what I think I'm going to do is breed some more yellow. Uh, let's get them on the big bulb orb here. The spotted bulb orb. There we go. Um, I'm going to... Just give these to the yellow, just because... Nope, I don't have any more on me. I just was flinging air. Well, I wasn't flinging air, I was... I was punching the air. Nope, oh, ten seconds to go. Can I get stuff back to the base? Can I? Can I? Go, 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 go! I don't think I'm gonna have enough time, but they will make it back to the base in time. Yeah, these sound effects are going now. And these sound effects are going... I don't know what the heck happened earlier, but wow, that was the weirdest thing I've ever seen happen in this game. But that was really interesting. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't dare scrap the recording when something like that happens. Anyway, that was an awesome day. Got four ship parts. All Pikmin are safe. None left behind. Breeded a bunch of yellow. I told you, yesterday was the setup. Today was super progress! Is super progress a certain kind of thing? I don't know, but I was, I'm really pleased with how this day went. I mean, there was all that nectar at the start, all the Pikmin that I breeded, with the pellets, four ship parts, cleared out a ton of enemies. So, yeah, I'm pretty ecstatic about today. Three days since impact. I now add yellow Pikmin to my list of discoveries. You see them yesterday! Or maybe he's just adding them to his diary now. These creatures can wield bomb rocks, so perhaps I can use them to blast down rock walls and open up new regions. I already taught this! Duh! <laughs> Red and yellow Pikmin, as well as bomb rock carriers, break into squads when dismissed with X or when I grab one for a moment by holding A. Uh, if you didn't see this just by um, trying it out yourself, I guess that's how they teach you how, just how to separate your Pikmin in the game. Just a little hint, I suppose. And look at that. Look at that. That is the sign of a great day. <laughs> just get, look at the yellow starting at the bottom there. And it just went, just skyrocketed near the end there. And I got that yellow, the big yellow pellet there. So I am going to save and hope the game did not glitch because, <laughs> because of what you've seen there. <laughs> and that also unlocks the forest naval, of which I think I'm going to, st <clears throat> to start in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then!